Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the best stocks to buy, as well as the latest stock market news updates that investors need to know about. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, let's get right into it. In general, stocks held it steady. However, Boeing in particular had another rough day. At one point, Boeing, which is an air vehicle manufacturer, dropped by 2 5% in their share price, down to just $178.12 per share. This would mark their lowest point over the last five months, and this is mainly due to the FAA investigating a whistleblower's claim about safety issues with the 787 Dreamliner. Again, we just keep getting more and more bad news in regards to Boeing stock, however, I keep buying into this company, but always make sure to do your own research before you make any investment decision. Next up, let's talk about Google. Artificial intelligence has been the rage lately, but with all of this artificial intelligence talk, there needs to be technology to back this type of innovation. This is why Google recently announced that it's making a new segment of their business to create CPUs called Axion. And this is just the next step that Google is taking, along with other companies like Microsoft and Amazon, to create and fund their own chip making so they can create artificial intelligence models without having major reliance on companies like Nvidia. Therefore, we could see companies like Nvidia Nvidia and Intel drop in their share price as major technology companies become less dependent on them. Right now, Google uses Axion to power their YouTube ads, but it will also now power Google's suite of cloud services. On top of that, it seems that their technology is very good, considering that, according to Google, Axion performs 50% better than Intel's processors. In the end, this should increase Alphabet's share price, ticker symbol GOOG, ticker symbol GOOGL, and decrease in Nvidia's and Intel's share price over the long term, but I'd love to hear your thoughts about this development down below in the comments. The next stock market news stories before we start talking about the best stocks to buy comes from Norfolk Southern, ticker symbol NSC. This company agreed to pay a $600 million settlement after one of its trains derailed in Ohio last year and caused a toxic spill. This payment will go along to resolve lawsuits covering thousands of residents who were displaced because of this accident. But don't let this negative news fool you because Norfolk Southern is actually a pretty good stock, so I would recommend that you look into them. Next up, let's talk about Meta Platforms, ticker symbol META, which is the parent company to Instagram and Facebook. You're probably aware that Meta Platforms likes to steal very good ideas from other social media companies, and that's why they copied TikTok's reels and made stories on Instagram and Facebook. However, TikTok is now fighting back because TikTok users have been getting notified about a new photo sharing app called TikTok Notes that could rival Instagram. So I'm very interested to see Meta's response to this, but overall, I don't think that TikTok Notes is going to replace Instagram or Facebook in any capacity, but only time will tell. Next up, let's quickly talk about some artificial intelligence news because South Korea plans to invest $7 billion in artificial intelligence to maintain its status as a top producer of high technology technology chips. However, the United States is also making big moves because they plan to give $6.6 .6 billion to Taiwan Semiconductor, also known as TSMC, to help build chip factories in Arizona. Lastly, for stock news, you should know that Allbirds, ticker name BIRD, ticker symbol B-I-R-D, is literally going to be delisted if something doesn't happen. As of right now, this company has six months to get their stock price above $1 for at least 10 days straight, or they will be kicked off of the NASDAQ. For context, Allbirds is a sustainable footwear business that has struggled since they IPO'd back in 2021, and in my personal opinion, I do believe they will be delisted. Now, the interesting thing is that some companies which are about to be delisted, for whatever reason, investors get this burst of enthusiasm, and they cause the share price to surge just to short it a little while later, and then eventually that stock does get kicked off of their respected exchange. So, don't be surprised if you see some volatility in this particular share price over the next few months or so. That's why right now I'm putting it on your radar because potentially this could actually have some upside in the short term, but overall I am personally not investing into this company. Now let's move on to the best stocks to buy because according to analysts, there are two monster growth stocks that should be on investors' radar, but I'll be the judge of that, so let's dive into it. 
The article starts off saying that long-term investors shouldn't care about timing the market, and then it goes on to say that the long-term investor knows the better option is to focus on diversifying their portfolio and consistently adding to their positions in great businesses, no matter what the stock market is doing in the short term, and I completely agree with that. But now let's move on to their stock pick, and the first stock pick is none other than Duolingo, ticker symbol D-U-O-L. Essentially, this is an educational technology company that produces learning apps in regards regards to languages, music, and math. So far, this company has done very well on the stock market because the company's success is being identified by investors, and that's why their share price has jumped over 60% in the last 12 months. On top of that, the language learning market is anticipated to balloon from $71 billion up to $188 billion in the beginning of the 2030s. And that's just the language market. That's not even incorporating its math and music courses, which were only added in late 2023. You should also be aware that this company is profitable under the generally accepted accounting principles, also known as gap profitability, which is great news. If you didn't know, this company makes money in two main ways. The first way is that people use their free educational apps and they get shown ads or advertising. So they make money through advertising to you as the consumer. The second way that they make money is that you can actually purchase various things in these apps and you can also purchase an ad-free version of the app, which costs money. So that's another way in which they generate revenue. Speaking about revenue, revenues, in 2023, Duolingo generated revenues of $531 million, to where $496 million of this actually came from their subscription bookings. This is why some Wall Street analysts believe that this company still has a 21% upside over the next 12 months, and that's why investors need to be paying attention to this company. However, the next company is even better, and that would be none other than Intuitive Surgical, ticker symbol ISRG, and they are a leader in surgical robotics. According to analysts, Lists. This company could be worth around $20 billion by the year 2030, which is great news for investors. The way in which this company makes money is that they sell their surgical robot suite to hospitals, and this would be a huge significant investment in regards to hospitals, considering that Intuitive Surgical's systems cost anywhere from $700,000 up to $2.5 million. But the news gets even better because this company also has a reoccurring revenue. Because Intuitive Surgical typically enters into service contracts with these hospitals, which are their clients, especially when a customer leases or buys their system. These contracts bring in annual fees per suite ranging from $80,000 on the low end up to $200,000 per year per system. This is one of the reasons why they could bring in $7.1 billion during 2023, which equates to a 15% increase from the year of 2022. You should also be aware that Intuitive Surgical reported profits of $1.8 billion, which was a jump of 35% from the previous year. Lastly, you should know that the company has also brought in free cash flow of $780 million. So it's no wonder why analysts believe that this company still has 50% upside in their share price over the next year, and that's why I think it should be on your radar. But that's not all, because we're also going to talk about another growth company that Kathy Wood of ARK Invest is buying hand over fist. So let's jump right into it. The reason why we would want to pay attention to Kathy Wood of ARK Invest and what she's buying is because regardless of our opinions about her, if a major investor is buying a particular stock, other investors are going to follow her, and this could increase that stock's share share price, and we want to take advantage of that. According to the article, when we combined all of Kathy Wood's holdings across her various ARK funds, UiPath emerges as her fifth largest holding, which makes it a high conviction investment. If you didn't know, UiPath's primary product is robotic process automation, also known as RPA software. This software allows businesses to automate repetitive tasks, like running reports or responding to customer requests. UiPath is also trying to integrate AI into their software to expand the amount of tasks in which the company can automate for their customers. But UiPath also does a lot of other things, such as monitor employees to identify tasks for automation. They also mine communications to understand the context behind a particular problem, or they also like integrating generative AI into their customer's business. The reason why this company is such a high conviction play for Kathy Wood of ARK Invest is because the software market for RPA is expanding rapidly. According to Grandview Research, in 2023, 
This RPA market was only estimated to be worth around $2.9 billion, but by 2030, this could expand and balloon up to a market worth $30.9 billion. This means this company has a huge upside potential considering that they are a first mover in this regard and they are a market leader in this regard. UiPath already dominates this market because they have annual reoccurring revenue of around $1.46 billion and there is a huge upside left for this company in regards to the revenue over the long term. In this year alone, the company's annual reoccurring revenue is anticipated to jump by around 18% up to $1.725 billion, which is very impressive. However, it's not as impressive as the growth from other technology companies on the market, such as Palantir, The Trade Desk, and Datadog, which grew at a rate of 20%, 23%, and 26% respectively. Even though UiPath only grew at a clip of 18% instead of 20%, 23%, or 26%, the company's valuation is substantially cheaper than these other companies, and here's what I mean. When we look at the company's price-to-sales ratio, which we would want lower and offset according to their growth rate, UiPath is literally the best option out of these companies. Palantir is currently trading at a PS ratio of 23.65, the Trade Desk is trading at a PS ratio of around 22.05, and Datadog is trading at a PS ratio of 20.84, while UiPath is only trading at a PS ratio of 9.142, which is substantially cheaper, literally over two times cheaper than these other stocks, and they have relatively the same growth rate. Therefore, technically UiPath is a better buying opportunity than these other companies according to their PS ratio and their respected growth rates. Therefore, this company is trading at a relatively cheap valuation, and they are growing pretty competitively with the general market, and that's why Kathy Wood of ARK Invest is heavily investing into UiPath, and that's why it should also be on your watch list. But always make sure to do your own research before you make any investment decisions. Decision. However, I personally am invested into this company, but again, always make sure to do your own research. Now let's talk about some stocks which had some major volatility in their share prices, starting off with Monday.com, ticker symbol MNDY, which slid by nearly 6% in pre-market trading after Citigroup downgraded the stock to neutral from a buy rating. The reason why a Citigroup analyst downgraded this company's rating from a buy rating down to a neutral rating is because of slowing demand for this company's cloud work management platform. Despite this, you should still know that Wall Street analysts and Seeking Alpha authors have a buy rating for Monday.com, ticker symbol MNDY, so again, feel free to look further into this company. But now let's move on to Alibaba, ticker symbol BABA. -B -A. This is a foreign e-commerce company located over in China, and recently their co-founder Jack Ma expressed support for Alibaba's restructuring efforts and their focus on possibilities of artificial intelligence integration. Clearly, this was good news for this company, and that's why they're share price jumped by around 2%. And even though I personally don't like investing into foreign companies, this would be a company that I wouldn't mind investing into because they are so fundamentally strong. But I'm going to leave that decision up to you. Next up, let's talk about NVIDIA, ticker symbol NVDA, which recently dropped in their share price by around 2%. As of right now, the company's trading for around $853.54, and if you didn't know, this company creates GPUs, which are used in artificial intelligence models. You should also be aware that since March 25th, this company has corrected by over 10%, which means that this stock has officially entered into correction territory exactly as we predicted. However, a Bank of America analyst is not surprised about this at all because he says that there is nothing new for investors and this does not mean that the fundamentals have changed. This is a correction that we saw coming, but fundamentally this company is still rock solid. But again, always make sure to do your own research. And then lastly, we have Hexcel, ticker symbol HXL, which retreated more than 10% in the respected share price. If you didn't know, this company is in the aerospace and defense industry, and they are a maker of advanced composite materials. The reason why their share price dipped is because they named a former executive of Spirit Aerosystems as their next president. The problem here is that Spirit Aerosystems is actually one of the problems which Boeing has, because Boeing uses them as a subcontractor. And it was Spirit Aerosystems parts on a Boeing plane which ended up failing, which caused a cascading effect of negative news updates to come out about Boeing. So essentially, Spirit Aerosystems caused the fiasco which started all of the negative news updates surrounding Boeing. A Bank of America analyst even reacted pretty negatively to this news, and they lowered their overall rating for this company from a neutral rating to an underperform rating. So it's really no surprise why this company dropped in their share price by approximately 10%. But with that being said, I'd love to hear your thoughts about any or all of these stories. Go ahead and annihilate that like button for more videos just like this one, and I will see you in the next YT video.